Yo, what up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. I'm truly grateful. Guys, today I'm here at CF Moto to check out the new 2023 version of the 800 MT Explore version. And uh, let's just go and take a look at the bike. So this is the Explore version of the new, newly released 2023 version of the CF Moto. There are some new additions to the bike that um, you'll get to see in a moment. I'm just gonna start here from the front. So at the first look, it looks very, very similar to the uh, previous version. And if we go down, I'm not sure if any changes have been done to the headlights and the fog lights, as usual, pre-installed from factory and it's all leds and you have daytime running light all across and the low and high beams are inserted in there overall it's a really really nice design this beak makes it look really cool i'm not sure what you want to do with this beak but you'll get to see in a moment that the rear now has uh, rear radar uh, detection collision detection maybe there are plans to um, use the space for new radar in upcoming versions and if you look down here you have the horn and you have a stabilizer right here very good for um, the cruise control to keep the steering stable and you also have a curved large radiator uh, which looks really nice and it looks like it'll have good power in uh, it will have good cooling effect on the engine as usual safety crash guards pre-installed from factory and as you can see turn signals LED LED all around now if we look at the tires the previous versions came with Maxxis tires but this time they've stepped up to Michelin Anarchy as it should have been from the beginning these tires are really awesome I have them on my on the cv 500 x now and they are very confidence inspiring and let's look at the front braking department dual discs spoked wheels and these valves for inflating the tires look they're metal and they're really solid and they've got it's got tire pressure monitoring inside and these are tubeless tires as well there are two versions of this bike so two colors one is this full on black which i call the triple black just like the bmw and there's also a white and blue version the white and blue version has gold rims and this all black has black rims but it also comes with spoked wheels which is a real big plus for uh, an adventure bike and if we look at the brakes like i said tw twin discs in front and you also have the J1 or J1 brakes. This is a subsidiary of Brembo, and so the quality-wise, you shouldn't expect anything uh, shabby. And dual cylinder. It comes with a KTM engine, KTM 799 engine. So yeah, you're expecting some full power there. And also comes pre-installed with crash guards to protect the um, the engine and the underbelly of the engine where else do you get this guys and all these things that i've mentioned so far crash guards auxiliary lights um hand guards engine guard all these are coming pre-installed from factory so that is really really amazing very solid as well and if we just come let me go around the bike before i bring you to the front the dash so there you have in your shot the ATM so KTM 799 engine expected some good power there and you also have your foot pegs and you can remove these I'm not sure how you're gonna do that I think there yes there's a screw down here you can pop this rubber off so you can have some extra grip on on when you're off-roading you have your brakes right there ktm engine you have center stand pre-installed from factory how cool is that double springs on each side to keep 
the spring from swinging when you're riding and it's got this nice muffler here which I'm sure is gonna give some really deep sound you get your spring rear spring in there I'm not sure if it's electronically adjustable but yeah that's I'm just bringing you I know there are tons of videos riding videos of this bike but I just want to bring close shots to anyone who wants to see this bike up close so yeah and we have this nice looking exhaust and then you have a single uh, disc on the back as usual you have the um, the speed detector cables overall this is looking really really nice and with high quality material and you also have the racks for panniers pre-installed from factory so that's one less thing to worry about and um, yeah on the rear we can see the outlet for the exhaust everything looks really high quality guys pre-installed from factory you don't have to worry about it if you have the tank that if you have rear tanks you can just install them or if you want to strap on bags that's up to you now the new the newest thing for this upgraded version is radar system so this whole area is a radar system so your number plate is going to come here so from what i hear it's a it's a rear collision detection it will send a signal on the screen to show you that there's a vehicle really close to you on the rear and it also has lane change assist as well so if you're trying to change lane to the right if there's a car in your blind spot behind you it's going to flash on the right side of the screen a light and if it's on the left hand side of the uh, of your bike in your blind spot it's going to flash on the left side of the dashboard so in a moment i will see if i can show you i can get the keys to show you what the dashboard looks like yeah and on the rear you have michelin to complement the front and moving on to the left side of the bike well let me stay here for a bit so this will be like always on daytime running and then the middle part will be the brake lights and you have the radar cruise and you have a small led light here for illuminating the the number plate so that's really cool and you also have a rear rock as well for installing a top box which most people will need I'm not really a fan of side panniers, but the top box is always very useful. And you have some really nice chain. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's a DID chain. High quality stuff here, guys. You have very good high quality plastics when you feel them. Overall, this bike has been really, really... The, the first edition was already a beautiful bike, and this one with this one they've stepped up their game so yeah it's um so you have your center stand which feels really firm something that i miss on my um honda cv 500x and i had to install aftermarket and this bike also comes with a sh quick shifter even the first editions came with quick shifter and on this one as well there is quick shifter so um you're getting very high end specs on this bike now let's move on to the seats so moving on to the seats it's a split seat system but as you can see the passenger has a very wide seat and they are hard they're firm but soft at the same time i'm sure it's going to absorb it's going to absorb shocks really really well and it has it's very wide very comfortable for long distance travel and before i forget these seats are heated as well so you have heated grips and you have heated seats how cool is that on a bike that costs about eight to nine thousand dollars here in china that's really crazy now i think from what i heard the tank is 19 liters if i'm wrong someone can correct me in the in the comment section but it's about it's about my uh 19 liters if i'm not mistaken all right let's start from the front here so you have some really nice mirrors and like i said pre-installed crash guards right by wire throttle which feels really nice it's not one of those that jitter when you're riding but it's really firm 
and it's got really nice travel really nice feedback and on the top here you have hazard switch very tactile guys this is this is amazing it feels really good and you have this button here for the fog lights that I showed you earlier very high quality um, brake fluid tank and um, yeah the opening for the solid looking a solid feeling just like that on high-end bikes like the BMWs and on this side you have a 12 volt socket so especially for people who are traveling you can shove in uh, a small kind of like tie inflator in your in your bag and then with the bike running you can inflate your tires and you also have your ignition right there just conventional and on the left side you have two USB charging ports pre-installed from factory how cool is that and this windshield is adjustable but you have to do it on both sides with these knobs one here and one on the other side and then you can adjust the windshield to the height that you like now before I go to the left side look at all these cables how they have been protected with high quality mesh material that's really cool and on the side on the left hand side you have your horn as usual very tactile turn signal wow this feels really good guys and then you have your navigation buttons here so up down right left and in the middle you have voice command button so apparently you can send commands through your headset through bluetooth how cool is that and this is a function button and this is a, i'm guessing a favorites button and on this side you have the cruise control on a nine eight nine thousand uh, dollar bike cruise control so you have cruise control on and off on on this to the right off and then up and down for setting reset set plus minus and then you have your flash to pass high beam low beam high beam low beam you have your clutch lever which is adjustable here and you also have the front brakes which is also adjustable through this rotor now let's move on to the instrument cluster and I think it's been increased by one cm or one mm I'm not too sure about that but yeah that's what I read somewhere and it's tilt you can tilt it downwards and upwards to suit your height which is really really amazing this is this is really really cool you can listen to music right there you can go to navigation and you can go to I think voice commands and if you're there are some apps already pre-installed and you can see how fast it is guys just like a car this is amazing I mean where else do you and you have settings you can go back to phone and on you have the um, water temperature you have front wheel rear wheel tire monitoring detection so once you start riding then you have gear selector up there you have other functions abs light headlights uh, parking lights engine lights rev, rev counter ambient temperature time wi-fi signal i don't know what to say but guys this is this is so amazing it's volume control just by volume control up and down and I don't know what else to say guys I mean I'm sold on this I reviewed the previous one the previous version of this bike if you haven't seen it you can check out my channel for you have traction control as well you have ABS both front and back you have I think it has cornering ABS as well which is really amazing I mean for a price of a bike of about eight nine hundred dollars I can't believe how much functionality there is on this bike guys guys 
This is the triple black version. In a minute, I will show you the white and blue version, but every other thing is the same, minus the color of the bike and the decals and the wheels. This one is an all black version. And let me just take a, guys, you can't see it properly from in a video, I guess, but if you see this bike in flesh, it is really good value for money. I mean, you have cruise, you have radar, rear radar detection, you have uh, quick shifts on the gearing, you have ABS front and back, you have traction control, you have uh, cruise control, you have, I think, about six modes now. It used to be about three modes. Now you have six modes. You have sport, you have rain, you have uh, all terrain and, and some other function, uh, some other modes. So I think in, in, in total, there are about four or six modes now. And yeah, let me just take you around so you can see. So I've, I've mentioned most of the important things on this bike. And um, if you, uh, seeing what you like guys this might be a big value for money if you're looking for a new bike so um, look for a CF Moto dealership close to you and go and take a look guys you might you might like this bike if you're not already familiar with it for the price of this bike and what you get it's it's insane I mean it's hard to believe that a company can include all these goodies for a fraction of the price of what of bigger brands offering the same thing the fra a fraction of the price of what bigger brands offer and um, yeah I mean I'm loving it it's really really nice and I forgot to mention that the front forks are adjustable as well so yeah And this is a white and blue version with the gold rims, the one that I'm likely to go for if I'm purchasing this bike. So let's just take a look at it. Everything else is just exactly the same as on the black version, which I'll call the triple black that I just showed you. But I think this color looks more lovely. I don't really like white vehicles, but it's been nicely done with the decals blue white yellow and kind, kind of gray i like it it looks really cool spike is gonna look really good on the road and this engine is gray unlike the black one which is black this one comes with a gray engine all right guys thank you so much for sticking around i hope you enjoyed this video this quick walk around of the cf moto 800 mt explore version and that's 2023 newly released one I like this bike and I think it's calling me it might be my next bike if I want to switch bikes soon so guys thank you so much once again if you are interested in adventure bikes look around you you might find a CF Moto dealership go and take a look at this bike and it might bring you value for money so thank you so much subscribe to the channel like the video and share and hit the notification bell so when I upload new videos you'll be one of the first to be notified Thank you so much once again. See you in the next video, guys. Ride legal, ride safe. Peace out.